Welcome to Office Gourmet, your inspiration for better lunching at the office canteen. I'm Wes, your moderator, but today I've also brought in my own special recipe. Look, it's Liza from the cubicle next to the copy machine. Will you help me out today? Sure will, Wes. So, uh, what, we, what do we have here? Well, we have the, uh, the fixings for the all-American hot dog. Ah, well, what's your uh, inspiration for this? What are you thinking? Well, I was thinking uh, something that's quick um, on a busy day at the office, and I love hot dogs, but um, some people consider them to be unhealthy, possibly something to avoid, and so I found some tastier and healthier alternatives uh, at the local market, okay. uh, such as these um, Applewood, uh, I'm sorry, Applegate uh, hot dogs. They are um, uncured and they have no phosphates and it's grass-fed beef and all the rest. Well, let's take these dogs over here and uh, we'll just cut open the package. someone joining you for lunch. Great. You're ready to uh, heat up the oven and while those are, are cooking over there for uh, six to eight minutes we can uh, prepare the buns and the cheese and the mustard. Great. Oh hey Liza, why, why don't we use the microwave? Wouldn't that be faster? Uh, didn't we already have a conversation with Kian Hee about this? We, we both agree that the toaster oven is the supreme choice for any sort of cooking. Oh, Wes, um, I notice you're using your hands there. Isn't that a little bit unsanitary? Well, you always wash your hands before uh, cooking at Office Gourmet. Uh, you know, but um, Ken Key might have uh, something to say about sanitation at the sink. Yes, so uh, now a word from Ken The people never See inside of this sponge is kind of a lot of bacteria, so I got my own sponges and then very dry. <laughs> and then whenever I'm using my own mug and then bring it out and then dry and then put it in my just my tray and then keep in our own office. So um, while the dogs are cooking up in the trusty toaster, we will uh, prepare some buns here. Okay. Um, hot dog buns, you know ballpark buns or or you can go oh, it's time to turn the dogs already. Do you want uh, me to Liza? go ahead and do that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. If you could just rotate those dogs a little bit. Um, these are uh, organic buns. Um, what's you know any hot dog bun will work. But what you need is some really good mustard and some sharp shredded cheddar cheese. Uh, this is Mustard from France, made by monks since 1760. The ancient religious order of the Mo transmitted to the Pomery family, sealed in wax. <laughs> All right, here we go. Awesome. So I prepared two buns and uh, with mustard here. I, I used one of each uh, kind of hot dog bun here and then we're just going to take some of this delicious shredded cheese. Now you have to have the good stuff. Don't come bringing your B-game to office or my finely shredded sharp cheddar cheese. None of that chunky bland stuff. It melts on the hot dog, okay? You want to get it on there while it's hot. Wow, looks great. You're done. Well, let's eat. Nothing left to do, right? Thank goodness this wasn't chunky cheese on this. Mm, mm hmm And the mustard, it's so gourmet. Oh, thanks to the monks. Mm. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Office Gourmet Living.
pass the French monk mustard, please. <laughs>